So this is what my Fortnite ping used to look like before and this is what it looks like now. But these results did not just come from changing one single setting. I applied different network tweaks and tested it in the same conditions so I could see which settings actually made a difference. But before we get started, this video was made possible by GearUp. Although the optimizations in this video helped me lower my ping, what took it one step further and helped me maximize the performance of my network was GearUp. After all the tweaks, my ping was better, but consistency was still an issue. Issue. Random spikes, jitter, and packet loss would show up out of nowhere. GearUp helps you fix this by routing your game traffic through optimized gaming paths instead of using random ISP routes. Once I enabled it, my ping dropped all the way down to 55 and more importantly, it stayed stable. It is also completely safe to use. GearUp is trusted by pro players, big creators and major gaming companies and it is also one of the highest rated tools of its kind. The result is smooth, consistent gameplay with no mid-fight lag even on cross region servers. And yeah, they've got a huge library of games that you can choose from. So if there is an online game that you play apart from Fortnite, there is a pretty big chance that GearUp supports it. So if you want to check them out, the link will be in the description of this video and you can also check it out in the pinned comment. And now back to the video. Before we start optimizing, we need to get a baseline in order to track improvements. So the first thing that I'm going to do is perform a network reset. What this is going to do is revert all of the optimizations that I currently have and reset all of my network adapters back to the default settings. This is going to give us a clean whiteboard to start all our optimizations and to see the corresponding results. So the network adapters have been reset. Now I'm going to restart my PC. Now that my PC has been restarted, you can see that I've got no internet, which means that my drivers have been successfully reverted back to default settings. Now I'm connected to my 5 GHz Wi-Fi, which is the connection that I normally use to play Fortnite. Now I'm going to quickly get into Fortnite and see what kind of ping I get with no optimizations and no tweaks. After each optimization, I'm going to test out the performance gains in real time by running a match of Fortnite. To maintain uniformity, all the matches will be run on the Middle East server because according to Fortnite, that is the closest server to my location. With that being said, let's get into our first match. In this match, without any optimizations and tweaks and with my network adapter set to its default factory settings, I was getting an average of 200 ping inside of this Fortnite OG match with random ping spikes and some packet loss here and there, which is definitely not ideal and surely not the most optimal way to play Fortnite. Now that we've got a baseline, we can start optimizing our network. So the first thing that we're going to do is optimize our network adapters. So open up control panel, click on network and internet, network and sharing center, press change adapter settings, and then select your network adapter. If you're using a Wi-Fi connection like me, double click on your Wi-Fi adapter, press properties, click on configure, and now click on advanced. Here, these are the settings that you need to modify. So for the 802.11 mode, make sure that you set this to 802.11ax if your router supports Wi-Fi 6. This is going to give you the maximum performance with the lowest latency. But if your router is a bit older, select 802.11ac. If you're not sure whether your router supports Wi-Fi 6 or not, just select 802.11ax and check if you're still able to connect to your Wi-Fi. If you're not able to connect, just change it to AC. Next, we need to leave ARP offload enabled. Make sure that you disable power saving. For the preferred band, make sure that you select prefer 5 GHz band. Fansmet power level has to be set to the highest and disable any wake on settings. Also, if you've got a power management tab over here, which is going to look something like this, make sure that you disable that as well. And that is going to be our Wi-Fi settings. Now just press OK. If you've got Ethernet, double click on your Ethernet adapter, click on Configure, Advanced, and now make sure that you disable all of the settings that I'm about to list. Advanced Energy Efficient Ethernet, Auto Disable Gigabit, Energy Efficient Ethernet, Flow Control, Gigabit Light, Green Ethernet, Interrupt Moderation, IPv4 Checksum Offload, Jumbo Frames, both the Large Send Offloads, NS Offload should be disabled as well, 
Power saving mode. Receive buffers have to be set to the highest value possible. Receive side scaling or RSS is going to be disabled as well. Speed and duplex. Make sure that you set this to the maximum value that your adapter can support. But if your ethernet stops working after you save these settings, just come back and set this to auto negotiation. Disable both the TCP checksum offloads. Transfer buffers has to be set to its highest value as well. Disable the UDP checksum offloads. Disable all the wake on settings. And last but not least for the shutdown link speed, make sure that you set this to not speed down. Once this is done, click on OK. And that is going to be the most optimal ethernet settings. Now the next optimization that we're going to do before we test the performance inside of Fortnite is using TCP Optimizer. So first download TCP Optimizer through the link that is going to be in the description. On the website just click on download now. Wait for 5 seconds and your download should start. Once downloaded right click on TCP Optimizer and make sure to run it as an administrator. Once this is open click on custom. And now these are the settings that you need to copy. So first drag the connection speed slider all the way to the right. Now down here make sure that you enable modify all network adapters. Now for the TCP window auto tuning you're gonna set this to normal. We're gonna disable window scaling heuristics. The congestion control provider is going to be cubic. RSS is going to be enabled and RSC is going to be disabled. Time to live has to be set to 64 and then just disable all of these settings. Now under advanced settings, set both of these values to 10. For the priorities, just set this to 4, 5, 6 and 7 respectively. For the retransmission, set the max value to 2 and the resiliency to disabled. Initial RTO has to be set to 2000 and minimum RTO is going to be 300. For QoS, set the first value to 0 and the second value to optimal 1. Gaming tweaks, the first one is going to be disabled and the system responsiveness has to be set to gaming 0. For the Nagel's algorithm, the values are going to be disabled 1, enabled 1 and disabled 0. For the network memory allocation, large system cache has to be enabled with a value of 3. And last but not least, the dynamic port allocation. The max value has to be set to 65534 and the wait delay is going to be 30. Now click on the MTU slash latency tab and what we're going to do here is find the largest MTU for our connection. So click on the largest MTU button and this is going to ping the speed guide server to find the most optimal MTU value. So it recommends that I should set my MTU to 1492. To change that just click on general settings and change the value inside of the MTU box. Once you modify all of these settings, click on apply changes, press OK, and now you'll have to reboot your PC. Make sure that you restart your PC after you apply these settings. This step has to be done in order to make sure that these settings have been applied properly. Now that we've applied a few optimizations, let's run a game of Fortnite and see what kind of improvements we've made. Now with just these optimizations, I started getting 130 ping. That is about a 70 ms drop from the 200 that I was getting at the start of the video. This is honestly a massive improvement, also considering the fact that now I've got no packet loss. But wait, don't click off the video just yet because we're gonna be optimizing this even further. At the end of this video, I'm going to get this ping down all the way to 55. So keep watching if you wanna get lower ping as well. Now for our next set of optimizations, the first tweak that we're gonna do is change our DNS. And for that, we're gonna be using DNS Jumper. What this tool is going to do is help us find the most optimal DNS based on your specific location. So open the link that I've provided in the description and on the DNS Jumper website, just click on the download button. Once downloaded, just extract the zip file and then open up the exe application. Here, the first thing that you need to do is that under select network adapter, all network adapters is enabled. Now you need to first click on the flush DNS button and then click on fastest DNS. Now click on start DNS test and this test is going to find the fastest DNS for you. Once the test is complete, just click on apply DNS server. And that is going to apply the most optimal DNS for you. Once that's done, you can close DNS jumper. And the last optimization that we're going to do before testing inside Fortnite is using a few CMD commands. 
So first open up CMD as an administrator. Now you need to simply copy and execute all of these commands that I will provide in the description. Make sure that you do this in the exact order to ensure that it works optimally. Once you execute all of these commands, you're gonna have to restart your PC. Now for this match, I went ahead and joined a game of Zero Build Battle Royale. And after the last two optimizations, I was averaging a ping of 85. Although it did shoot up to 90 and 95 at times, it also went down to 75 sometimes. But once again, there was no packet loss. So far, the performance improvements have been massive and the game also feels much more smooth. Now, to get the maximum performance and stability, I'm gonna be using gear up. So now I'm gonna boost my connection using gear up. And now let's see what kind of numbers we get in game. As you can see, I'm getting about 55 ping. At the start of this video, I was sitting at 200 ping with no optimizations. And now after optimizing the connection and using gear up, I'm getting about 55 to 60 ping. Also with almost zero packet loss. Do keep in mind that I'm also playing on Wi-Fi. So these numbers could get lower if I start using Ethernet. With that being said, this is going to be the end of the video. If it helped you out, make sure to drop a like on this video. Also, let me know down in the comments what kind of performance improvements you got. If you'd like me to optimize your PC for the maximum performance or optimize your connection for the best ping, you can check out the link in the description to my service. I've got a bunch of positive 5-star reviews from my clients and I've helped them get the best performance out of their existing systems and networks. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.